Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can prep and stain your deck and your stairs. So let's dive in. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is get rid of any type of loose debris or anything on top of the stairs so that we can go ahead and make sure that they're pretty clean and our detergent is going to work well. So let's go ahead and jump into that. The main thing you're trying to do here is just to get it as clean as possible. You can also use a leaf blower or backpack blower if you'd like to as well. The next thing you want to do is inspect all your boards just to check and see and make sure that they're good, make sure they're good and sturdy like this one. And then also check your nails or your screw heads, whichever one you have. This deck is really old. You can also tell that it is going to be really tough to clean. It's really dirty. So we're going to try hard on that. But when you're here on these screws, you can go ahead and tap them in. You can get a screw punch like this. I'll go ahead and leave one of these in the description. You just put it right here and tap it with a hammer, or you could even just do it with a hammer as well. Make sure you go ahead and check all of these and get all of these stuck in as best you can. Then we'll move on to the next step. For our next step, well, you're gonna need to make sure that you move everything out of your way. If you have chairs or anything on your deck or on the boards or anything like that, you're gonna wanna move those away so they're not in your way and they don't get any of the chemicals or anything on them. You're also gonna wanna make sure you spray off all the areas around you. Make sure you spray your grass, plants, or anything like that. And if there's anything under your deck or under your stairs, you want to make sure you move those as well because there's going to be, again, chemicals and you don't want any of your stuff to get anything on it. If you're using a pressure washer, remember to use the weakest setting or you can just use your garden hose as well. So the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and use your chemicals on your deck. I'm going to be using my pressure washer, my chemicals in there. Make sure that you read your instructions on your chemicals to make sure that you're using the correct and proper dilution if you need that or just straight chemical whichever one you might have also you need to make sure you know how much time you need to leave on there so you don't need to do the entire thing at once you need to do a few boards at a time let it sit for a few minutes then wash it back off my stairs are really dirty you've seen that before we've had people fall down them i might even have fallen down them before but our stairs are really dirty, so they're probably gonna stay on there. The, the, the chemical is gonna stay on a little bit longer, and up top it's not quite as dirty, it's been covered, so it's not gonna need the chemical as long. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out, see if the chemical works, and then spray it off and see what it looks like here in a second. Today I'm gonna be using Zep Wood Deck and Fence Pressure Wash Cleaner. So make sure again, you know your percentages, you know your time and everything like that. Also use gloves and any type of other thing you might need, glasses and also pants and and shoes because you don't want any of this chemical to get on you but we're going to go ahead and dive in and see if it works here i use the soap tip or chemical tip for putting out the zip make sure you get all the boards wet and don't let the chemical dry on the boards at all you can even wet them down before you spray them as well just to make sure that they stay moist the entire time well you can see i went ahead and sprayed the second set of boards a few more this time you can tell that it is working well hopefully see all the suds hopefully it's oxidizing and destroying a lot of that mildew and grime and everything else it has on it but let it sit for a few more minutes and then I will spray it back off here I put on the 15 degree tip I'm using a Ryobi electric pressure washer and it worked great if you have a gas pressure washer be careful not to gouge the wood Remember to do a fan motion so you won't gouge the boards. It took me a few minutes to get it down, but I finally got the hang of it. And I kept the end of my wand about six to eight inches away from the boards. Then I put the chemical on the stairs. They were a little more difficult because they were very weathered and slimy. So I let it sit there a little bit longer. And I also used a deck brush to rub in the cleaner in some of the very tough areas. Again, remember to do the fan motion so you won't hurt the wood, especially if your wood is old and very dirty like mine. Well, just got finished using the pressure washer and also the chemical on the top and the stairs as well. So we will let these dry, see what it looks like, and then see what our next step might be. So guys, this is the next day, a little update. I wanted to show you all a little bit. Uh, I've been over the stairs a few times with the pressure washer. And there's still, you can tell, some just some grime and dirt in the grooves of the, the wood. And I don't want to gouge the wood any more than I already have. And so we're going to try something a little different because this has been just walked on. And this has been out in the elements now for at least 20 years. 
what we're going to do is use some outdoor bleach. Uh, this is what I'm going to be using right here, some little outdoor bleach. We're going to try that and see if it will help us clean off these stairs a little bit. Again, I'll show you a few more. This landing is really just dirty. Um, it's also not always dry, as you can kind of tell. It kind of struggles getting dry. Um, it did rain last night after I had pressure washed it a couple times, so still takes a few days for it to dry. But we're going to try the outdoor bleach and see if that works. Well, here's my finished product. As you can tell, these steps have changed drastically. They look really good all the way up the stairs and on the top as well. I think this has definitely done an incredible job at cleaning off the deck. Well, guys, now it's time to stain our deck and our stairs. A couple things you want to make sure you do. Number one, you want to make sure you clean it off. So upstairs, uh, it's been a few days since we've messed with that. We went ahead and, and cleaned it off and also used the pressure washer and the chemical up there. But it's been sitting for about three or four days right here behind me on the stairs. It's only been dry for about 48 hours because we've had to stain it and also use the outdoor bleach as well. So you want to make sure that you sweep it off and have everything prepped and ready. If you need to sand, go ahead and do that and have everything ready so that when you do put the stain down, it should stick and it stays really well. Hey guys, I want to show you these little places like this where the pressure washer and the chemical didn't get. You can take some sandpaper, just go ahead and sand all these little spots out, um, and then they should be ready to paint. Also, if you have any stains like this on your deck anywhere, you can go ahead and use, again, sandpaper and go ahead and clean this up before you stain it as well. So I've mixed my stain. Make sure you mix this really well because you want it to be an even stain. Uh, I have coffee, that's the color that my wife chose, so we're going to go ahead and use that. Today I'm using a pad applicator. Um, this is great for staining decks because you can, uh, again, get a lot of, of area and also it will stain pretty quickly. You might have to go back in with a brush if it doesn't get all the way in the cracks, so just be watching for that. But we're going to go ahead and jump in and get the staining. I'm using Bare Premium Waterproofing Stain and Sealer and a Pro Edge Stain Pad, which I think both do a great job. And just like the pressure wash, you want to make sure you use the fan motion while continuing to move the stain using just a couple boards at a time. I also messed up a little bit at the beginning, so you might want to try just a less conspicuous area just to try to get your motion down before you keep it going. A tip here is to keep a damp rag with you just in case you spill stain where it doesn't need to go and you can wipe it up quickly. Also to remember to check the cracks as well. You might need to backfill with a brush. And this is probably the most satisfying part of the entire project. As you can tell, these stairs are really soaking up the stain. So remember if you're applying stain to older wood, it will definitely soak it up. So make sure that you have enough. Well, I just wrapped up the first coat. My stain says that I need to let it set for one to two hours, so I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for a couple hours, and then we're going to come back and apply the second coat as well. Well, I think the stain took and looks incredible. As you can tell, everything looks great. I think my wife likes it. She's even setting the swing back up, ready to have some fun out here. Well, I highly recommend this process. I think everything turned out great. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that we use, all the links are down in the description below. Also, if this video was helpful, I'd love to know that. You could leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section as well. I'd love to help you out with those. But I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.